Hi there, Great Elevens, and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking at the file properties. So yeah, I've just got a basic file. Um, you can see it's got a bit of info in it, a couple of pages. And when I need to make changes to some of the information or some of the properties that are the, of this file, I'm simply going to go to the file button and I'm going to go to info. Now, this allows me to do a couple of things. Now, number one, one of the things that they usually ask you to do into the header is to copy the path, uh, you know, of the actual file. So if I click on copy path and I go back here and I'm just going to go into the header section over here and I'm going to paste. You can see the path of that particular file goes in there. Okay. So that's where I can do it. I'm not going to do that now. That's one of the things I can do. I can open up the file location. I can, um, you know, convert this to something else. Okay. If I need to, All right? Yeah. They tell us the document will be upgraded to the newest file format. That's if I need to do that. Also, I can protect my document so I can um, open as, you know, read only. I can encrypt with a password. So if they need you to put a password onto your document, you can do it here. You can restrict editing restrict the access, you know, add a digital signature, etc. Um, you can inspect your document, manage it. On the side over here, what's important is usually your title, your comments, and the author. Generally, they do ask you to change the author or add an author. Um, so this is where you will do that. So all of the info, and you can even click on show all properties just so you can see everything. Um, if you need to make any changes to the properties of a file, this is where you can do it. 